So we are in the airport today because we fly to a team that is launching the online casino. And um, this is the only time when we can do that because we have the Sigma Malta next and then we have another flight. So just before that flight, we have to get to them because otherwise they're gonna be stuck. And we don't want them to get stuck. So that's why we are in the airport today. So we have three hours. So let's take a car, let's go to eat. And then uh, let's go for a meeting. Okay? Hmm. The tickets for open today. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, so, what do I mean by getting stuck, right? So, it's not just about uh, what you need the license and how to get the license, right? So it's not just about the framework, it's not just about the setup, it's not about just the Curacao and all these, you know, hundred many things that you need to start your online casino or sports book or to become a software house. Now, it's also about several things that you do not see right now. It's about when you have to do certain things. So these gentlemen here that we are going to uh, meet, uh, they have a team and they have a budget and they want to make sure that all things are on time so that they get a platform on time, that, that they get payment system providers on time so they don't wait because how uh, usually startups work is that they wait for certain things to finish so they wait when the software is going to be done they are waiting for uh, the license and then they approach the platform and all these things so this is not the best way to do things because you're wasting tons of time and if you waste tons of time it means that you have to also pay salaries and paying salaries cost money it's not cheap right so that's the exact reason why we go to meet uh, the gentleman and this is gonna be the agenda so they just know that uh, everything is happening according to the plan and that they get the best solutions and they have millions of questions that they want to ask yeah so this is just uh, the best thing in this scenario to go and meet them <music> Do I usually go to meet everyone, every person, every client? No, I don't. Uh, it's just in uh, several cases I want to do that because when I figure what the team is up to, it's better for everyone to meet and to put everything on the paper, just like all parties are certain that everyone will that work accordingly and no one will waste anyone's time. Because when you have big plans and you want to really succeed, you want to make sure that you are not wasting a second. And no, in this not. case, I may consider traveling. So this is what I do going to uh, different countries, right? So uh, with uh, these people here that I will meet here, so they have everything that is required. They have a team, they have a budget. They uh, have and they take more effort than it is required currently because yesterday I received information from um, a partner of mine who told that well I had a chat with two gentlemen and I promised them to introduce them to uh, this person directly so they just you know be the first step without waiting because they are impatient they want to uh, make things really fast and they have time and uh, a team that is waiting as well and um, so we are here to make sure that everything is on the paper, to make sure that uh, they feel comfortable and that we feel comfortable working together, right? So this is the only reason why I will be traveling. Right.
unfortunately, uh, I can assure you the faces nor names of the clients, but uh, I will get back to you later with some details. Okay? Hey everyone, this is the uh, next morning. So we had a meeting yesterday with two gentlemen. They are launching several projects. So we discussed some topics back and forth. We spent good three hours talking about the business and what they want to have and when they want to have and uh, you know importance of saving time and that they have a team of designers really waiting and uh, you know when designers should work and whether their own designers have to build the design on the back end or that's the platform guys who should build the design as well so all these topics were discussed but this is not what i want to share with you i want to discuss like the real importance of the question when so why when is important why when is just as important as what so I had a client of mine back in the days. So I was in Dallas back then and I have a call with her and um, she asked me about the entire framework and the license and we are working on the license. But she also, she asked me about payment system providers. So she wanted to know right in the beginning what payment system provider would she use? Because partner of her, who was also the CTO, I believe, he asked to really clarify this question. So when I was stupid enough, so this was the failure of mine, I'm explaining you the failure, uh, to tell her what will be the solution. So, you know, three months later, when we actually got there, and we uh, already signed all the agreements and the invoices were paid, and three months later, when we got there, that payment system provider didn't accept, didn't work with startups anymore. So what they required, they required the company to have some volume, some GGRs. So we couldn't connect that payment system provider anymore at that time, and that client, she was really frustrated because uh, she, you know, had that very good solution for her business. And now we are in the spot when everything is done and money are paid. And now she cannot connect that payment system provider. So she thinks that uh, the failure was because I didn't explain her something good enough that we probably lied to her, didn't tell her the truth, you know? So that's why when do something is just as important as to know what to do so you don't want to be in this situation so since then I'm really following this uh, framework of also explaining people as when they have to do certain things to not to screw things up just like we used to All right, so we are back from the long journey. It was a long way home, but uh, there is still one thing that I wanted to emphasize. So most people I meet, most people I speak to, they really believe that since they launch an online business, online casino, sports book, then it's fine to get away with just, you know, knowing people on Google, knowing people online, which is partially true. You can be successful by just knowing people online. But there is one thing about really meeting people that you cannot replace with anything else. So first, in relation to the license, you get all the details right on the paper. Your compliance process goes much smoother because you can get, you can have all the details discussed. And now two of you, like you and your counterparty, we have this real mutual connection and trust that on every side there is a real person and that everyone is committed to the journey. When we speak about the platforms and the entire setup, it's the same. You can discuss like step by step the milestones that you have to reach. And let me ask you this. So just by taking two equal people, two equal entrepreneurs, business people, so with the same budget, with the same resources, People who want to get like the setup as fast as possible, who would get the advantage? Like the one that knows everyone online, the one that just sent a couple emails and now waits for this entire infrastructure to get built, or the person who knows 
you know, the platform in person, who knows payment system providers in person, and now has this connection. You have to remember that it's not just your effort that makes things happen. It's also equal effort on the other side. And many people will be doing business with you. So just by knowing them, you guarantee yourself the edge over your competition. This is not mandatory, though. This is something that I do really recommend to do. And it's really easy today because, you know, many events, they happen all over the place. And there are three events that I would really recommend. So first of one is like Sigma Malta. And this is the next event that we'll be going to. The second event is IGB Amsterdam. It happens in Amsterdam. And the third one is in London Ice. And what I usually do is that before I'm going somewhere, so, you know, two weeks before, I'm sending everyone messages like, listen, I'm going to Malta, I'm going to Dubai, I'm going to Las Vegas, I'm going to Amsterdam, wherever. Go and meet me because you will meet like many people. I will introduce you to many people you have to know to make a conscious in a smart decision on your way. So don't overlook this. If you are somewhere near and you find traveling, then go and travel. We just arrived from Las Vegas. It was a great event, E2G event. It was mainly like land-based event, but the next year online there will be huge. It will take, you know, maybe 50% of the entire event. And the traffic, traffic was just unbelievable. You know, there were so many people, I couldn't, you know, understand what's going on because, you know, it's such amount of people you cannot get anywhere. So with people comes knowledge, and you can grasp that knowledge there on your foot and meet people and get every connection that you may want for the business just with one single event. Just go to the one that makes sense. So I just made you my recommendations on events. And if you are looking for something of value, if you are looking for, okay, how was the journey? What did we come up to in uh, the end? So you can download the file on uh, five initial steps, how to launch your business. We've also included the timeline that we were working with these gentlemen that we just met. So you can really check like step by step what it takes to start an online casino, what it, how much time it takes and what has to be done on certain stages. And if you want to speak to us, then uh, there is the uh, also a number below. There is a link below get in touch someone will get in touch with you really fast and i wish you a good day and good luck